For the 1% crowd, or more like the one-tenth of 1%, here's Zillow's list of the priciest homes for sale in America. Welcome to America, the land of the free and the home of the brave. While Francis Scott Key eloquently captured the essence of our nation with those iconic lyrics, he may have overlooked one crucial detail our penchant for extravagance. Indeed, America stands as the playground for opulence, boasting some of the most extravagant homes on the planet. Today, we're not just peering into the world's most expensive abodes, but specifically, we're unraveling the mystery behind the most expensive houses in the United States in 2024. Now, let's delve into the details of Gordon Point, a breathtaking estate listed at an astonishing $295 million. As we explore the features of Gordon Point, it becomes abundantly clear why this estate has captured the attention of luxury home buyers around the world. The centerpiece of the property is the main house, a stunning architectural masterpiece that spans an impressive 11,500 square feet. With its six bedrooms and luxurious amenities, this mansion provides the ultimate in comfort and elegance. Every detail has been meticulously designed to create a space that exudes sophistication and refinement. But the grandeur of Gordon Point doesn't end with the main house. The estate also boasts two guest houses, each over 5,000 square feet, providing ample space for visitors to enjoy their own private retreat. The total interior living space of the estate reaches a staggering 22,800 square feet, ensuring that every resident and guest can indulge in the utmost luxury. One of the most remarkable features of Gordon Point is its waterfront location. The property stretches along 1,650 feet of pristine shoreline, offering breathtaking views of the Gulf of Mexico. A sandy white beach spanning over 700 feet provides the perfect spot for residents to relax and soak up the sun. The sound of the waves crashing against the shore creates a serene ambience that is truly unparalleled. To cater to the needs of boating enthusiasts, the Donahues went above and beyond by constructing a private yacht basin and a T-shaped dock. The yacht basin, measuring 231 feet by 50 feet, can accommodate a variety of vessels, ensuring that residents can embark on their nautical adventures with ease. This rare amenity had to be approved by the US Army Corps of Engineers, further highlighting the exclusivity and grandeur of Gordon Point. But what truly sets Gordon Point apart from other luxury properties is its potential for development. According to a press release that launched the listing, the property can accommodate more than 200,000 square feet of residential development. This means that the land has untapped potential for further expansion and customization. The possibilities are endless, and the future owner of Gordon Point has the opportunity to create their own private oasis on this remarkable estate. With an asking price of $295 million, Gordon Point certainly commands attention. But how does this price tag compare to other luxury properties in the area? According to Realtor.com, the median listing price in Port Royal, the prestigious enclave where Gordon Point is located, is $24.1 million. This makes Gordon Point a true outlier in terms of price. However, the listing agents are confident in their pricing strategy and believe that the value of the property lies not just in its size, but in its privacy, beach frontage, and potential for development. Since the listing went live, Gordon Point has already garnered significant interest from high net worth individuals. The journey of the Belair Mega Mansion began with its visionary developer, Niall Namami, a film producer turned real estate magnate. Namami had a grand vision for this property, aiming to create a home that would redefine luxury living. With this ambitious goal in mind, he embarked on a decade-long journey to bring his dream to life. Despite facing numerous challenges along the way, from construction delays to cost overruns, Namami remained determined to create a property that would stand out among the world's most extravagant homes. As the mansion took shape, it became evident that Namami's vision was truly extraordinary. The Bel Air Mega Mansion boasts an impressive 105,000 square feet of living space, making it the largest modern home in the United States. Its sheer size and opulence set it apart from any other property in the area. Originally planned to be listed for an astounding $500 million, the mansion faced setbacks, including construction challenges and financial troubles. In 2021, it was placed into a court-ordered receivership and later put into bankruptcy. However, 
Every setback is an opportunity for a comeback, and that's exactly what happened with the Bel Air Mega Mansion. In 2022, the mansion went up for auction and caught the attention of one particular bidder ready to make a statement. Richard Saigian, the billionaire CEO of Fashion Nova, saw the potential in this extraordinary property. With a keen eye for luxury and a taste for the extravagant, Saigian seized the opportunity and purchased the Bel Air Mega Mansion for a staggering $126 million, including fees and commission. His total investment came out to about $141 million. Saiyan's acquisition of the Bel Air Mega Mansion made headlines around the world. The sale was more than double the highest US sale at auction and nearly 50% higher than the world record. It solidified Saiyan's status as a connoisseur of luxury and a trendsetter in the world of fashion and real estate. The mansion boasts an impressive 21 bedrooms each meticulously designed to provide the utmost comfort and luxury. From spacious master suites to cozy guest rooms, every bedroom offers a sanctuary of relaxation and tranquility. Many of them offer expansive views of Los Angeles, allowing residents to wake up to the beauty of the city every morning. The dining room is a true masterpiece, featuring a 10,000-bottle wine cellar that would make any wine enthusiast's heart skip a beat. Imagine hosting a dinner party surrounded by the finest wines from around the world, creating an unforgettable experience for your guests. The family living room is a space designed for relaxation and entertainment. Sink into plush sofas and enjoy quality time with loved ones, or gather around the fireplace on a chilly evening. The room is adorned with exquisite artwork and tasteful decor, creating an ambiance of luxury and comfort. For those in need of rest and rejuvenation, the Bel Air Mega Mansion offers several rooms dedicated to RR. Picture yourself indulging in a spa-like experience in the full-service beauty salon and wellness spa. From rejuvenating facials to soothing massages, this space is designed to pamper you from head to toe. The salon itself is a vibrant oasis with glossy red walls that add a touch of glamour. It's the perfect place to get ready for a night out or simply treat yourself to a day of self-care. Entertainment is taken to a whole new level in the Bel Air Mega Mansion. An entertainment room offers activities like billiards, providing endless hours of fun and friendly competition. The mansion also boasts its own bar and cigar lounge, where you can unwind with a fine drink and a hand-rolled cigar. Casa Encantada, a timeless masterpiece built in the 1930s for Hilda Bolton Weber, the wealthy widow of a glass manufacturer from Ohio, Hilda, who had faced judgment from her late husband's peers due to her humble beginnings, decided to create a grand estate that would solidify her place in California society. To bring her vision to life, Hilda enlisted the expertise of renowned architect James E. Delana, known for his modern influence. Delana's Georgian-style design resulted in Casa Encantada, a neoclassical mansion that exudes elegance and sophistication. Spanning an impressive 40,000 square feet, Casa Encantada boasts over 60 rooms, each meticulously crafted to perfection. As you step inside, you are immediately greeted by the opulence and grandeur that define this extraordinary residence. From the stunning entryway to the breathtaking ballroom, every corner of Casa Encantada tells a story of luxury and refinement. But it's not just the interior that leaves a lasting impression. Casa Encantada offers breathtaking views of the Bel Air Country Club golf course, creating a serene and picturesque setting. The meticulously manicured gardens and tranquil pool area provide a sense of tranquility and escape from the bustling city life. Over the years, Casa Encantada has been home to a series of high-profile owners, each adding their own touch of luxury to the property. Notable names like food billionaire David Murdoch and hotelier Conrad Hilton are just a few associated with this iconic mansion. However, it was the recent ownership of financier Gary Winnick and his wife Karen Winnick that truly elevated Casa Encantada to new heights. Recognizing the historical significance of the property, the Winnicks embarked on an extensive remodel and restoration project. Led by renowned architect Peter Marino, a team of 250 skilled craftsmen worked tirelessly to restore the mansion to its former glory. The restoration process was a labor of love, taking over two years to complete. Every detail was meticulously attended to, from the restoration of plasterwork to the refinishing of lacquer walls. The craftsmen even hand-polished 14 layers of paint 
to ensure that Casa Encantada regained its original splendor. As we explore the various rooms of Casa Encantada, you'll be amazed by the level of detail and craftsmanship that went into creating this architectural masterpiece. From the elegant dining room adorned with traditional furnishings to the study where the walls whisper stories of the past, each room tells a tale of luxury and refreshment. Casa Encantada also boasts servants' quarters and three walk-in vaults in the basement, a testament to the grandeur and scale of this magnificent residence. It truly is a world within itself, a sanctuary of opulence and beauty. Now, let's turn our attention to the Emily Pierce compound, a remarkable estate with a price tag of $170 million. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Emily Pierce compound is the attention to detail and exquisite craftsmanship that went into its creation. From the statues of Greek gods and goddesses that adorn the grounds to the opulent marble floors that grace the interiors, every element of this estate exudes elegance and grandeur. Emily Pierce's dedication to creating a truly exceptional living space is evident in the hand-painted frescoes that adorn the ceilings and the crystal chandeliers that illuminate the grand spaces. The Spanish-style courtyard with its extravagant design adds a touch of old-world charm to the compound. But what truly sets the Emily Pierce compound apart is its breathtaking waterfront location. With 600 feet of frontage on Biscayne Bay, the compound offers panoramic views of the Miami skyline that are simply unparalleled. It is a true oasis of serenity, where residents can bask in the beauty of nature and enjoy the tranquility of the water. However, the story of the Emily Pierce compound took a tragic turn when Pierce passed away in 2017. Today, the compound is owned by his trust, and the proceeds from the sale of the property will benefit the doctor. Emily Pierce Foundation, which supports medical research and music. As we step inside the compound, we are immediately greeted by the grandeur and opulence that define every aspect of this magnificent estate. With a total of three homes, the Emily Pierce compound offers an abundance of space and luxury for its fortunate residents. The main residence, a two-story mansion, boasts an impressive 12 bedrooms, providing ample space for family and guests. Each bedroom is meticulously designed and exquisitely furnished, offering a serene and comfortable retreat. The 16 full bathrooms and 9 half baths ensure that every resident and guest can indulge in the utmost convenience and luxury. Moving through the compound, we discover the smaller one-story home with a guest house. This additional living space is perfect for accommodating guests or staff, ensuring that everyone who enters the Emily Pierce compound feels welcomed and pampered. One of the most remarkable features of this compound is the presence of three swimming pools. These pools offer a refreshing escape from the Miami heat and provide the perfect setting for relaxation and recreation. Whether you prefer to take a leisurely swim or lounge by the water, the pools offer a serene oasis within the compound. This estate is a true paradise for those who appreciate the finer things in life. Now, let's delve into the Air Estate, a luxurious property nestled in Miami's prestigious Coconut Grove neighborhood. This estate, with a staggering price tag of $150 million, is a true testament to luxury and elegance. Spanning over four acres of prime waterfront land, the Air Estate offers breathtaking views of downtown Miami and boasts an impressive 400 feet of water frontage. It is truly a sight to behold. The estate comprises two separate houses, each with its own unique charm. The main residence, known as Indian Spring, was meticulously designed by renowned architect Jose Angel but Navia in 1999. This masterpiece spans over 25, triple zero square feet and features exquisite living areas that offer panoramic views of the stunning Biscayne Bay. From the grand foyer, with its sweeping staircase to the great room and formal dining room that can accommodate over 20 guests, every detail of Indian Spring exudes elegance and sophistication. And let's not forget the master bedroom suite, with a full gym for those who value fitness and wellness. But the Air Estate doesn't stop there. It also includes a garage for six cars, an upstairs apartment with an office space, a swimming pool that overlooks the bay, and a lighted tennis court. It truly is a haven for those who appreciate the finer things in life. Villa Serena. This historic gem, dating back to 1913, was originally built by former U.S. Secretary of State William Jennings Bryan. 
listed on the National Register of Historic Places, Villa Serena has been lovingly restored by Adrian Eyre herself. With its two ornate staircases leading to the sleeping quarters and a three-car garage with a guest house perched above, Villa Serena is a testament to the timeless beauty of architectural craftsmanship. The Our Estate's rich history adds another layer of intrigue to its already captivating allure. The property was once owned by the legendary Ziegfeld Follies star Peggy Hopkins Joyce and her husband James Stanley Joyce, a prominent lumber magnate. Their legacy lives on within the walls of this magnificent estate. The sale of the Air Estate has made headlines around the world, and for good reason. With a staggering price tag of $150 million, this transaction has shattered previous records in Miami-Dade County. It is not only the most expensive house ever sold in the county, but also the first Miami home to be sold for nine figures. The magnitude of this sale is truly unprecedented. The buyer of the Air Estate remains undisclosed, adding an air of mystery to this already remarkable story. What we do know is that the buyer first visited the property in July, and the deal reportedly moved swiftly. The identity of the deep-pocketed new owner has sparked speculation and intrigue within the real estate community. This record-breaking sale has sent shockwaves through the luxury real estate market. It has set a new benchmark for property values in Miami and has solidified the city's status as a global hub for high-end real estate. But it's not just the price tag that makes the AR estate remarkable. Its features, history and philanthropic legacy have all contributed to its allure. The estate's prime waterfront location, stunning architecture, and rich history make it a truly unique and desirable property. The meticulous restoration of Villa Serena and the grandeur of Indian Spring have captivated the imaginations of luxury home buyers. Furthermore, Adrian R's decision to donate the proceeds of the sale to charity adds another layer of significance to this transaction. While the specific organizations have yet to be determined, R's commitment to giving back and making a positive impact on society is truly commendable. This philanthropic gesture sets an example for other luxury homeowners and demonstrates the power of using wealth for the greater good. The impact of the AR estate sale extends beyond the realm of luxury real estate. It serves as a reminder of the enduring allure of Miami as a global destination for the affluent and influential. The city's vibrant culture, stunning waterfront views, and thriving business environment continue to attract discerning buyers who seek the ultimate in luxury living. The Carrollwood Estate, located in the prestigious Beverly Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles, is a property steeped in rich history and cultural significance. Once owned by the visionary Walt Disney himself, this estate holds a special place in the annals of entertainment history. In 1949, Walt Disney purchased the land that would become the Carrollwood Estate. Inspired by the steam railroads implemented by his animators Ward Kimball and Ollie Johnston, Disney embarked on a project that would forever change the landscape of entertainment. He built a one-eighth scale steam railroad on the property known as the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad. This miniature train system became a passion project for Disney and served as part of the inspiration for his groundbreaking creation, Disneyland. The Carrollwood Pacific Railroad was not just a whimsical hobby for Disney, it was a manifestation of his love for trains and his desire to create immersive experiences for his audience. The train system featured meticulously crafted tracks, bridges, and tunnels, all designed to transport visitors into a world of wonder and imagination. One of the most remarkable features of the Carrollwood estate is the 90-foot underground tunnel that was built as part of the train system. This tunnel, with its ivy-covered stone archway entrance, adds an air of mystery and enchantment to the property. It's as if you're stepping into a secret world hidden beneath the surface. While the original home that housed Walt Disney is no longer standing, the remnants of the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad and the underground tunnel still stand as a testament to his legacy. The estate has undergone significant transformations over the years, and the current owner, Gabriel Brenner, has taken it to new heights of luxury. Brenner, who co-owns the Houston Dynamo soccer team, has spared no expense in enhancing the property. The estate now boasts a magnificent 35,000-square-foot mansion that exudes elegance and grandeur. With eight bedrooms and a staggering 17 bathrooms, there is no shortage of space and comfort. Two ends. Each room is meticulously designed and decorated, creating a harmonious blend of luxury and sophistication. 
But it's not just the mansion that makes the Carrollwood estate truly remarkable. The amenities added by Brenner are nothing short of extraordinary. A swimming pool, putting green and tennis court provide ample opportunities for outdoor recreation and relaxation. For those who prefer to stay active indoors, there is a state-of-the-art gym equipped with the latest exercise equipment. And when it's time to unwind, three bars offer a variety of options for indulging in your favorite drinks. The wine cellar is a wine lover's dream, housing an impressive collection of vintages from around the world. It's a space where connoisseurs can appreciate the art of winemaking and savor the flavors of the finest wines. For those who love the magic of the silver screen, a custom movie theater awaits, complete with plush seating and top-of-the-line audiovisual equipment. To ensure the utmost safety and security, the Carrollwood Estate features two safe rooms. These fortified spaces provide a sense of peace and protection, offering a sanctuary in case of emergencies. And for the dedicated staff who keep the estate running smoothly, there are staff quarters that provide comfortable accommodations. The Carrollwood Estate is a true masterpiece a testament to the vision and creativity of Walt Disney and the dedication of its current owner, Gabriel Brenner. Its historical significance combined with its luxurious amenities makes it a truly unparalleled property. The $90 million price tag may seem extravagant to some, but when you consider the exclusivity and opulence of this estate, it's a small price to pay for a piece of history and a taste of the high life.